hot girl summer vlog. Yes, you're so handsome. I'm trying to take a little bit more care with prioritizing myself and my health. <gasps> Wait, I forgot I got this, guys. Okay. How are ya? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're ready for a huge reset, deep clean, get life together vlog. I feel like I've been ignoring certain chores for long enough to where they've kind of compiled and I want nothing more than to get them done. And I also have a few fun things that I've wanted to do to treat myself and I'm very much looking forward to it. So this is gonna just be like a really setting myself up for success vlog. I'm getting ready for the day. I want today, to primarily be focused on the apartment. So restock my pantry, which I am working with Thrive Market on today's video. So I have an order coming in, which is perfect. Deep clean, get everything just kind of organized, clean the things that I never get to, like under furniture and baseboards and all that kind of stuff. One of the fun things, tonight I booked a spray tan. I said in the last vlog, I think it's because I spent so much time with Jacqueline and she's incredibly tan. I was like, I want to know what it feels like to be tan. I can't spend much time in the sun because of lupus and nothing wrong with being like a pale girly. I'm all for it. But I kind of just want to know what it feels like to be tan. So I booked that for fun tonight. And then tomorrow, Max has a grooming appointment. My friend Anna, who's a hairstylist, needed a model to train one of her assistants. And so I'm just going to go get a styling as a model for free. And tomorrow I'm also getting dinner with mom and Jacqueline because they're in town for her bridal hair and makeup run. So there's a few fun things in there, a lot of chores. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited. I feel like this vlog is for me, if that makes sense. Like these are all things that I really have been wanting to do and we're going to do them. I'm going to put on some real clothes. I'm still in my pajamas, even though it's 11 o'clock and we're going to get this day started. Let's do it. We're going casual today because we're gonna just be around the house mostly. And I just washed my hair, but I'm not gonna style it if I'm gonna have it washed and styled again tomorrow. So we are casual girlies today. First thing on the list, pantry restock. I love working with Thrive Market and I love doing a little pantry haul with y'all. I got mostly just a few of my favorites this time, just kind of restocking the things that I find I eat up really quickly. So it's a smaller little haul today. Since I am working with Thrive Market on today's video, I do have a discount link for y'all. So I'm gonna have it down below, but it's thrivemarket.com slash Jancy, and that's gonna get you two things, actually. It's gonna get you 30% off your first box and also a free gift valued at $50. So I've loved loved getting to read what y'all's gifts have been because I've been just super curious like what they could even be and they all sound really great. If you haven't heard me talk about them before, oh, I've been such a fan for a long time. This is something that I pay for my own membership myself. So they are membership based and they're like an online retailer grocery store. They have snacks, they have food, they also have household things, beauty things, pet things. And what you do is you pay a membership and then you have access to their discounted pricings. And all of these things were things that I would go to like four or five specialty stores to find, and then they'd be more expensive. So here at Thrive Market, I can find them all in one spot, save money, and have them delivered to me. This time, my order was $54.62, so I got to that free shipping, and I saved $13.84, as opposed to if I were to go out and put forth all the effort of buying these things in store save money and made it easier. I have been eating these so quick. The little prebiotic mama chia packs. They're just really yummy and easy to throw in a bag. These, the Fit Joy pretzels are gluten-free. I have only tried a few other flavors, so I wanted to try the tangy Dijon mustard. Speaking of gluten-free, another thing that I as a celiac person really appreciate about Thrive Market is you can filter and sort by like dietary restrictions or preferences. So if you're like vegan or paleo or keto or gluten-free like me, you just click a button and it will only show you gluten-free things and you don't have to read labels. You already know, I love these. These are the reason I eat olives now. They're little tangy, zesty Italian olive packs. So you can also put them in a bag. Kaylee's. <laughs> this is my best friend Kaylee's favorite thing ever. <laughs> so I have these for when she visits me. These are really good. The dang sriracha spice chips. Lime tortilla chips. Oh, so good. 
Oh, I did get one beauty thing. I had just run out of these and I really could have used this. It's finally going away, but I had a mean zit on my chin. Um, these are my favorite little pimple patches. I also get them from Thrive Market because it's so much easier. The Mighty Patch just sucks it out. So great. I've been sipping bone broth lately. It's been comforting. <laughs> so this is a new one that I'm trying. This is just their Thrive Market brand. They have like their in-house brand, which the prices on their in-house brand are really good. Hippies, an original. <gasps> Wait, I forgot I got this, guys. Okay, this might be top five recommendations of things you need to order from Thrive Market. I ate the whole jar in 24 hours last time. This is a vegan, like, cashew-based queso alternative. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that with the lime chips. Oh, okay. That's my little pantry restock haul. I'm gonna get this all organized. Thanks again to Thrive Market for partnering with me. Um, yet again, I'll have the link, thrivemarket.com slash Jancy. 30% off your first box and a free gift, $50. It's a good deal. One kind of random chore that I did um, is wash all of my towels, even the ones that haven't been used or just like hanging up because I've caught myself drying my hands on them and I'm sure guests do that too. So I was like, it probably could be good just to wash all the towels and even wash my bath mat for the bathtub and my robes, all the things in your bathroom that you don't think about washing as often. I just washed all of those and deconstructed all of my cardboard boxes that I hadn't just put away and put all of my bathroom trash, kitchen trash, everything, cleaned out some old expired snacks. Gonna do a trash run and a recycle run and then get on the nitty gritty actual cleaning.
be a workout. <laughs> I just crawled under my bed like army style to get all the dust bunnies under there. I wish there was a way for me to film that, um, but there were so many under there and now it feels very clean. And I think tonight I'm gonna wash all of my blankets. Look at this little angel baby laying on the blankets. Let's see. Yeah, you love the blankets. He's so cute. Because they have all been very, um, they smell like dog. So I'm gonna do that tonight probably when I don't have to worry about making a lot of noise and filming, but I have changed. I think I'm gonna take him on a walk, maybe go grab some coffee. If we have time, I'd love to pick up fresh flowers because that always makes the space just feel so clean and nice for me. I love the way that that feels. Um, and then I've changed into something that I think I could hopefully wear to the, I need a Google spray tan etiquette. Like do I, I take off all my makeup, right? Do I shower one more time, make sure there's no like deodorant or anything? But nevertheless, loose fitting shorts, hopefully won't rub anything too much. These shorts were hand-me-downs from a family that I used to babysit for, the mom in her probably 40s. And she was like donating a ton of clothes and let me go through it first. And she has great taste. And these were one of the things I got from her probably like five years ago. And I still love them. Um, that's my little story time for you. But we're gonna go take a walk and get some coffee and maybe if we have time, grab some flowers. I brought my groceries to the bedroom because the dryer is really loud, but I told you I wanted to try this. This is like the lemonade from GT's. They rebranded it to Citrus a while ago. It was one of my favorites. I've never seen a strawberry lemonade. I like the lemonade because it's tart. So let's see if this is tart enough for my liking. This one's very carbonated. This is so good for summer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm at a loss of words. <laughs> and then I was in the checkout line and these stuck out to me. I remember last year trying the sparkling watermelon, which was just watermelon juice and sparkling water. And this is just pineapple juice and sparkling water. And this whole thing was like two bucks. So I'm really excited. There's four in here. Maybe it was $2.99, whatever. Still less than a dollar a piece, and I am really excited. Cute branding always gets me, pineapple always gets me, and beverages always get me. So I'm gonna put these flowers away, hop in the shower, and turn right back around and go right back to downtown where I just was. <laughs> oh well. So we are here, and I'm totally fine going out in public without makeup, like that doesn't phase me at all, but without deodorant in the summer Texas heat, and without any sort of moisturizer on my face, feels like a sin. But I will say, no makeup plus claw clip plus black tank makes me kind of feel like a 90s off-duty model, you know? I feel like that's what off-duty models wore in the 90s, so that's kind of fun. Yeah, but I would really like to be wearing deodorant right now. Might be really good. But let's see what this place is like. I'm excited to see. That took approximately six minutes and was so easy and this place is so cute and good thing I was gonna wash my sheets today and I didn't get to it yet good thing I didn't because she wants me to shower in the morning so hopefully I don't get this on my sheets but it's gonna continue to develop I got like a light to medium shade I told her I'd rather it air on the side of too light than too dark I'm excited to see how it looks tomorrow I don't know I have all of my fresh flowers now officially out around the apartment and something so sweet is that my mom asked me if there was a night this week she could order a dinner for me and i said actually maybe wednesday because i'll be getting a spray tan and so i probably will just want to be at home and so she just texted me that dinner is going to be here in an hour i have no idea what it is but it's very 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 sweet and kind of her and my plan is to catch up on all the computer stuff for the day um but I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like my physical space is taken care of. And tomorrow we have more of like the errands and things on my to-do list in that sense. And I feel like I'm really gonna be like set up. Also, is this a hot girl summer vlog between the spray tan and the free blowout? Maybe it's that also. But even just the fact that this blanket is so clean, ooh, gotta make sure I don't transfer spray tan onto it. Feels great. <laughs> really feels great. Okay, I'll check back in with y'all in about an hour whenever we know what dinner is. Thanks, mom. Dinner's here and it's so sweet. It's Hop Dotties. She got me a gluten-free burger and my favorite thing that they have, 
is their truffle fries. I don't know if you'll have a Hop Dotties near you. I think it would be the same at all locations, but their fries are all safely gluten-free and are so good. This is so nice of her. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. The day is already off to an incredibly productive start. It's 9 a.m. I've already showered off my tan and I'm very pleased. It looks very natural. Uh, before my shower, I was like, whoa, this is really, really noticeable. But the shower made it perfect. Um, got ready and then dropped Max off at his grooming appointment. Now I'm about to head back towards home and continue being, being productive and kind of getting things like reset and done and chores checked off the list. Max is gonna be so clean and nice. He was stinky, so that's great. Feeling good about it all. So I'm just waiting for the text to pick up Max. It's already been over two hours. He takes a while, because I think he, he puts up a little bit of a fight, but my stomach isn't feeling great today, so I actually took a little nap, and then I just made that bone broth that we unboxed yesterday. I added some sea salt and a little bit of lemon juice and some pepper. Mm. It's like healing and warming and good for you. So I'm gonna just, I guess, knock out a little computer work until whenever he's ready to get picked up. And then if we have time before my hair appointment, I actually would love to do a little try on haul of something that has been sitting in my closet for far too long and I wanna see how it fits. So it's now been three hours since I've dropped off Max and I have my phone volume on. So if at any point I get a text, we're gonna have to run and leave. But quick little try on haul, I actually, got a comment saying i wish you would try the brand veta and then i remember that they reached out to me on tiktok and sent me a couple things and i forgot about it and so instead of a tiktok try on haul i figured there's only four things but i figured we could do a little quick and uh youtube try on haul first this is just a t-shirt dress um, i think that their whole thing is everything is versatile and kind of meant to go together so you can create a little capsule wardrobe and get a lot of looks out of it but this seems simple, just a t-shirt dress in the size extra small, olive green. Let's see how it fits. Here's what the dress looks like on its own, by itself, but it also came with a little tie, which is cute. I love things that you can add a little shape to. So after you add the tie, this is what this looks like. I do like the length of it. It still feels like cute and young, but comfortable and like past your fingertips, so professional. It's very comfortable cute little pocket. <laughs> this is going to be interesting to see exactly how this works. This is a dress, but it's in two pieces. It is called the two-piece halter dress. So this looks like it's, uh, well, I actually don't know what this looks like. This is a piece of fabric, but the tags in the back, maybe like this, and then you crisscross it. I'll figure that out. And then the matching little skirt. I do like the print of this. Let's see if I can figure this one out. Okay, this took some work, but I think I got it. <laughs> this color is pretty close to my skin color, but I think that this is pretty adjustable. Like you could tie this in the back, you could tie this in the front. There's a little slit on the side, so I like wrapped it through the tank. So it looks like you could do a lot with it, maybe even another time if you wanted. But I, I do like the skirt a lot, and then I am very into open backs right now. I think that they're a lot of fun. So this is this one. This is apparently also a dress, but it's a blazer dress. Are you supposed to wear this with like no pants? We'll see how long it is when it's on, but this could be really fun with heels for like a night out. I have nothing like this. That could be fun. Let's see how it looks. Okay, here's what this looks like. The concept is a lot of fun. I do feel like it would have to be a kind of I don't know, maybe business night out, like cocktails, drinks. I don't have a real adult job, so I don't even know what real adult scenarios are, but it is fun. I feel like it needs either an undershirt or some fashion tape right there to hold it in place. I, like I said, own nothing like this, but I could see how this could be a really fun thing to try to style. And I'm sure you could wear it open as like an oversized blazer if you want to wear it with pants and a tank or something underneath. Last but not least, the girlfriend shirt. This looks most like things I currently own. Um, just like a simple button down shirt. I feel like this would be really good for a office job, you know? Pair this with some slacks and some heels. Okay, last but least, we're trying this one on with some jeans. This is my favorite, for sure. This is the most like me. Um, I have it just French tucked right now, but the line of this one's kind of long. So that's how that looks. It almost has, yeah, a scoop 
cut down the front, but I definitely think it's cutest with a little tuck or a fringe tuck. I think that this brand makes a lot of sense for working professionals. Um, that's definitely the vibe I get from all of these things. But fun to try. Whoever commented that, thank you for the reminder that I had this in a box in my closet. Good stuff. I feel so bad. I just was going through my messages and Max was ready for pickup an hour ago. I went to go open to text them, be like, is everything okay? And it just came from like, not their normal number. It came from like a four or five digit phone number. So I thought it was spam. <gasps> I'm the worst dog mom. Okay, we're going so fast. Guess who we got? Oh, are you throwing a fit back there? Come here. Yes, you're so handsome. Oh, you, you smell fantastic. You smell really good. <laughs> that is a blessing. Home for literally just enough time to make myself a little matcha, finish my matcha, upload a video, and now I have to leave like right now to drive over to Anna's salon. But the lilies that we bought yesterday are starting to open and I'm kind of excited because I thought they were white lilies because they weren't opening yet, but they're, I think that they're called Stargazer with like the pink stripes down the middle and then the white around the edges. Oh, they're gonna be so pretty when they open. I'm so excited. Okay, Max, you gonna be good? You gonna be good? You just gonna pout? Oh, that's a smile. Okay, you look good. Cool. Here is the after. I feel like my hair always looks so blonde whenever I get it blown out. Like it's way blonder than it normally does. But this is actually something that I, I don't think I've talked about on the channel yet. I don't think I've talked about anywhere yet. Um, I, oh look, as I say this, I think that when I had that really bad allergic reaction to the antibiotics because of my staph infection, so staph infection led to antibiotics, which led to very bad allergic reaction to said antibiotics. I started a couple weeks later losing so much hair and it has not slowed down for weeks. So much, like an alarming amount. And I've been like trying not to really think about it cause I'm like, there's nothing you can do about it. So if I stress about it, that's probably only gonna make it worse. But um, even Anna noticed, she was like, wow, it's like, like very thin. You have a lot of like, Re, like breakage and little baby hairs up top. And um, she's like, I'm noticing a lot of shedding. And I seriously think I'm down to about half of the hair that I had. Like my ponytail is so tiny and thin now. Um, and it's, it's not slowing down, which is, it's a bummer. And I know that everybody, you know, has phases, you know, postpartum or after a sickness or whatever, where that happens, but hair grows so slow that it's just kind of a bummer. So Anna was saying too, Anna does extensions and she was like, after the shedding stops and like, like stabilizes, we could always look into adding like a row of extensions or something, which I've never had before. I am, I tend to fall on like the low maintenance side of just beauty things in general. You know, it could be fun to experiment with and why not if there's a time, maybe now. But just wanted to share that in case anybody else is going through it, feel something similar. It is a bummer. It is a big, big bummer. But having my hair all styled simultaneously makes me realize like how much my hair has changed because I'm like, wow, this is not a lot of hair, but also it looks cute. So that's a nice little confidence boost, but it's something I'm just trying not to really think about. That's kind of my life motto is if you can't change something, don't think about it. Which maybe that's not healthy. Maybe it is healthy. I'm going to swing by and um, probably pick up some vitamin C on the way home just because I want to make sure I think I'm fine, but I just want to make sure that I'm not getting sick. And so I want to be preventative, get some vitamin C, some zinc, really just like amp up my immune system. TBD on if I'll see my sister and mom tonight because it's up to their schedule of getting their hair and makeup done for the wedding trial and then traffic and all that. So that's the plan for tonight. Just a little something to be thankful for. Apparently in the summer, my patio is shaded in the evening. And in the winter, my patio gets like direct sun. So when you're hot, it's cooler and then in the winter when you're cool you can get some sun and warm up so that's a little random thing i'm enjoying the not that hot 
of weather outside, but I'm wrapping up a little bit of computer work and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, this is the last thing I'm filming for a week. This is coming out after my break, but I'm taking a little bit of a break. Um, I've been hustling, still gonna be working on other things, but just like a little bit of a filming break for a week. So I'm excited. I think I'm gonna come back very well rested and feeling good, I'm trying to take a little bit more care with prioritizing myself and my health lately. That's been a big goal of mine and um, spend time with people and just exist and live. But I did wanna say thank you one more time to Thrive Market for being one of my favorite long-term partners. Oh, I love them so much. Um, I'm gonna have my link down below. Thrivemarket.com slash Mikkel Jancy for 30% off your first box and that free gift that's valued at $50. So that's always fun. I would love a free gift. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. So give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, talking to you. here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here?